Bat conservation and the energy transition. Current challenges. In order to switch from fossil fuels to sources of renewable energy, more and more wind turbines are being built all over the world. This may be climate friendly, but one of the side effects is that many bats die at the turbines. To ensure that the wind energy production does not come at the expense of wildlife conservation, ultrasonic detectors are being used to record the acoustic activity of bats. Subsequently, regulations are drawn up that restrict the operation of wind turbines during periods of particularly high bat activity. For example, at night, when temperatures are high, or during the migration period and low wind speeds. However, despite these existing measures, animals still die at wind turbines. This could be because the acoustic monitoring is insufficient to inform us about true bat activity. Depending on the bat species, the ultrasonic detectors can detect animals within a radius of a maximum of 17 to 40 meters. However, since the rotor blades usually reach much further than that, this radius is not enough to completely cover the zone where bats are at risk. For instance, the area above the nacelle is completely missed. And if bats do not fly directly towards the ultrasonic microphone, the detection range is reduced even further. There are also many other factors that limit the effectiveness of the detectors. The collision risk is inadequately reflected, and possibly the wrong conditions are drawn. What can be done? One solution would be to install additional microphones along the tower or on top of the nacelle. In addition, other sensor technology such as thermal imaging cameras and radar, could be developed specifically for this purpose. Through reliable monitoring, we should be able to effectively adjust the operation of the turbines and ensure that the energy transition does not come at the expense of biodiversity. This film is based on a current publication of the Leibniz Institute for Zoo and Wildlife Research.